Welcome back, ladies and clashers. It's the next matchup here in day two of the World Championship Stage 4 Swiss Stage Bracket. We got TPM Esports versus Early Attacks. Both of these teams have been on fire lately, but let's see who's going to be winning today. We got the early award and blimp here from TPM Esports with what might be Super Minions or Super Archers. What is it? Super Minions in the blimp. And a lot of Super Barbarians for later. He's got the clone spell. Ooh, hitting some red bombs, some seeking air mines. His warden getting wrecked by some archers. But the nice invis spells help the Super Minions take the Town Hall, take the Monolith. Look at that tornado trap there. But most of the Super Minions don't get hit by it. Good start so far here from Robbie. Super Minions pull the Headhunters out of the CC as well. Okay, Electric Owl on the right side still getting some funnel value. Now, which way is he going to go with his heroes? Super Minions also picking up that Expo. Ooh, not quite. Almost. He's gonna go on the bottom side. Alright, sure. With the Golem. With the Warden that we still have. Oh, wow, he didn't even need his Warden for that. No, I'm crazy. He's got the Baby Warden. He did use his Grand Warden early with the blimp. Don't mind me. I'm always sleepy. Wallbreaker here, Royal Champion, to go take out the Rage Tower before it has a chance to go off again. It might actually go off again here. Skeleton Traps distract. She doesn't get the Rage Tower. Rip. That Expo is going to be doing double damage now. That's a little awkward. King Pops ability. Queen's safe for now. Do we have another Wallbreaker? I wasn't looking. Uh, yes. Able to Wallbreak that lower junction. So Queen will be able to wrap around. Dingy stuns this left Expo. So Queen and Unicorn are safe. Look at the Owl still getting value on the top right side of the base. He's sprinkling in Super Barbs, Ice Golems all over the left side of the base. Freeze on the double damage Expo and the Archer Queen. Need that Royal Champion to take out this Inferno Tower. That would be clutch. He still has a Skeleton Spell, but I think he's trying to save it for the Barbarian King on the back end. Is that going to work? I think it might. He's got an Ice Golem. Seven Super Barbs, a Headhunter, a Skeleton Spell. His patience might pay off here. There is the Skeleton Spell. There's the Ice Golem. The Super Barbs are in. When does he send the Headhunter? Has to time it perfect. Was that too early? Was that too early with the Headhunter? He sent it. Super Barbs are getting in there as well. Skeleton still distracting. It was not too early with the Headhunter. Perfect timing after all. Down goes the King. Can they get through the Warden statue? Yes, they can. Double cannon, so slow against skeletons, against super barbarians. The queen still alive. She got through a wall. He's got plenty of time left on the clock. He's showing off his phone. He's got it. That's a three star to start this match. Chihawa with the first attack for early attack. Yo, what is he wearing? <laughs> Yo, is that a? That's from Brawl Stars, right? I think that's the Nita bear or something from Brawl Stars. Look at his player cam and he's got the super minion and the baby dragon. Yo, that's OP. Chihawa Wawa looking cool as he does his attack here. Early bat spell on the bottom side of the base. I kind of missed the beginning. Electro dragon. He's got a lot of E-drags in here. Baby dragon on the right side. Cool. Cool, cool. We're gonna do all these E-drags from the right side. Here we go with the Grand Warden. With the Phoenix on the Grand Warden. With the early battle blimp for the Town Hall in the Warden ability. Now. Boom. Perfect timing. There's the first range. Still has the King and Queen to the boy. He's got the Frosty with the King. Is it a super minion blimp? He's got the clone spell. And there's the clone. There's the invis, there's the rage, super minions looking good, that's a perfect spot, they get the monolith, they get the town hall, they get the inferno tower, look at this value from the super minion bomb dude, just clutch, perfect positioning on it, nice, get through the ego artillery, where do we send the king and queen, he's got a lot of time on the clock, honestly if he wanted to be patient he could wait till that rage tower expires, but he's gonna go ahead and drop the king, drop the queen, expo's doing double damage, scattershot's doing a little bit of double damage, but that's not the end of the world. He got most of the base already. Just has to get through this toxic left side. He's got the one free spell there. Sends the champion in to go toward the scattershot, toward the expo. Still two E-drags there helping out as well. Although they're very low on health. One of them goes down. The other one still going to get another shot off. Clutch. Some good chain value. We find a bunch of skeleton traps. We got a wall breaker to help Queen get all the way through. Oh, look at that. The wall breaker actually busted the backside corner too. That's cool. Queen can just walk all the way through now. Pops the RC ability. He's got it. Look, he's happy. He's pumping his fist. An entire minute on the clock and three heroes still alive with a wizard, with an ice golem, with some minions still to deploy as well. This is looking great. A Chihawawawa. Early attacks with the early three star to keep 
things tied up against TPM. Beautiful start to this match. Hopefully this will be a good one. Look at him, dude. He's going crazy with his <laughs> super minion and baby dragon. <laughs> all right, dude. What a gamer. We're all tied up. Three to three. Marcelo. Second attack for TPM. Let's see what he's got. Good start to this match so far. Can he keep it rolling? He's got a... Does he have a sailor hat on? <laughs> Bro, what's up with everybody today? And looking funny for the camera i love it he's playing on a phone queen on the top side of the base queen charge lalo let's go queen takes the cannon takes the archer tower then the builder hut she's looking decent can easily reach the inferno tower question is does he get her in for the monolith easily it's gonna need some spells to help her out monolith already locking on there's the freeze there's a balloon there's a battle blimp slightly placed to the right hits a sinking air mine right away uh, Yetis go in, but the queen got locked onto still. Did they take the model without? Come on, come on, come on. Yes, okay. Queen does not go to ability. The Yetis need to go back in and take this eagle. Look at that. The one archer actually pulled them back in. Then they go for the eagle. Then they get the rest of the CC pool. Maybe not all of it. I see two headhunters. I see a bunch of archers. There might still be a lava hound or something else in there. He drops the poison spell, though. Had to. Because of all the archers. Because of the... Headhunters, more importantly. There's the king on the left side of the base. I don't think that rage was needed on the queen. It was just one expo and she was going to get through it. Here come two super minions, so not a lava hill. King pops ability. Should be able to take out this scatter shot, but it is doing double damage with that expo. That rage still keeping the queen alive here through the super minions, so maybe that rage wasn't bad after all. He's already going to need the next one. There we go. Only one rage spell left. King goes down. Phoenix brings him back to life so he can still distract the expo for a few more seconds. That helps the queen a lot. Look at that wall breaker. And another one. All the way to the... Oh, I didn't get her all the way through. But she will be able to reach the Inferno Tower, which is clutch. But he can't wait. He's going to go ahead and start the law load now. Maybe he could have waited a few more seconds. I don't know. Royal Champion Headhunters in to help fight the Barbarian King there. Queen gets the Builder Hut. It's going to give us good access to the Town Hall. Uh, queen gets distracted by the storage. We need her to go take out the Inferno Tower quickly so it doesn't damage any balloons. We're going to rage... Pop war and ability. Boom, boom, boom. We're moving through to the right side of the base. Hello, Tornado Trap. Spin us in circles. Queen will take out this multi, so the balloons won't take any damage from it. That's good. We're going to freeze on the expo, on the Royal Champion, on the Archer Tower. He doesn't have any more Headhunters for the back end, but he does have the Electric Owl, the Warden, the Royal Champion to all work together and fight this enemy Royal Champion. He's losing a lot of balloons, but he might be okay. Queen beat through a wall. Royal Champion still alive. Diggy goes down, but we can get through the scatter shot. Come on, come on. Yes, we do. Queen picks up the last air defense. All the defenses are dead, and it's just a matter of cleanup with the swag invisibility spell. Marcelo, able to get it done. Look at him showing off his phone there, swagging the invis spell. Plenty of time left over. Good job, sailor. That's another three star right there. Hades is in with a second attack for early attacks. Rocking the OP mustache. I like it, sir. I like it. Flame Flicker on the right side of the base with the Super Barbarians. Wall Breaker on the right side. Okay, sure. It's going to be Queen Charge. Super Barbs. With a Yeti. With a Jump Spell. Interesting. Queen Headhunter in there to fight the enemy Queen. Looking good so far. No spells utilized yet. I like it. He's trying to be as efficient as possible. There goes the first Rage. Right at the last possible second. Ooh. Ooh. She's okay. Look at that. Jump spell is in to get her all the way to the town hall. He cut it close with that rage. Now he's trying to freeze so he doesn't have to drop the second rage too early. I like it, man. He's being so efficient with these rages. Still hasn't used his second rage yet. This is good. Yeti on the bottom side. A couple super barbs to help out. There's the second rage. There's the poison spell all perfectly placed. Hades looking good so far today. Barbarian King, Grand Warden on ground mode here on the bottom side of the base. A couple more Cocoa Balloons to help out the Queen charge. Keep these healers safe. They might even pull the Poison Tower. They do. That's perfect. So the Queen will get hit by the Poison, but the healers won't because of where the Poison lands. That's so crucial. Next Rage is in a little aggressively, but as soon as Queen steps up over the wall, healers are raged up. We drop the Invis. Perfect timing. Rocket Balloons from the Flame Flinger. Take out the Monolith. We pop King ability. We pop Warren ability. Everything's looking great. The Queen got the Town Hall. She's safe because the Rocket Balloons took out the Monolith. Dude, this is looking good. We got the Super Barbs on the left side of the base helping out. 
The king, did he have the royal champion in there with the king and the grand warden? Yes, he did. The king's already about to go down. But the royal champion still has some HP. The warden somehow dies before the king and the royal champion. What the? How does that always happen? The warden's so squishy to splash damage. He's starting to spam all his super barbs in on the top side of the base. Queen with the last rage spell there in the core. Tornado trap is spinning her around, but she's distracting all the defenses, which is great news for the royal champion. She has free reign to move around the left side of the base. Take out this scatter shot. Take out the archer tower. King somehow is still alive. Gets through the storages. 45 seconds to spare. He pops in his headphones, and he's looking chill. It's another three star. Six to six. Hero is in for TPO. What a great match so far, man. Both teams, two for two. And what has he got going on for us here? Some Skelly Donut action with a bat spell as well. Okay, okay, okay. Cool colored couch there. Or is that just a blanket on the seat? I can't tell. But I like it. Able to get the CC building down. Able to get the Inferno Tower down. Able to get the Eagle Artillery. It's all good news. Perfect start so far for Mr. Hero. Battle Blimp on the left side of the base. What's in there, Yetis? With no spells invested, the Yeti Mites take out the Monolith, damage the Barbarian King a little bit, and get a couple more defenses on top of that. Good start. Barbarian King at 12 o'clock. Sneaky Goblin is in. He's got 38 Hog Riders, dude. This is going to be a lot of bacon. A lot of bacon on this attack. One Golem, one more Skeleton spell still to use, and he was able to still bring a healing spell for the Hogs. I love it. The golem's going with the queen, so she can go all the way to the town hall, it looks like. Giant wizard on the left side, take out the archer tower, okay. King gonna pop ability, take out the enemy queen. Sure. He'll take out the storage as well, and he'll pop back around to the top side. Queen takes out that Tesla, makes her way in for the expo. She's got perfect pathing for the town hall. That's good news. Now this range tower on the top side looks like it's gonna recharge. Be able to go off again. Could be a little uh, interesting here for the hog portion, but... Oh, actually, it gets pre-triggered. We could wait. We could wait, or we could hog from the bottom side, so we completely neglect that upper rage tower. What's he gonna do? He's gonna go ahead and start from, like, 3 o'clock. Queen did take the town hall. She goes down. He's got three or four... No, just two hogs in on the right side, and here we go. Royal Champion. Hog Riders. Grand Warden. He waited a few seconds for that rage tower to expire. I love it. But with this bomb tower here, do we pop ability early? Ooh, he let them take damage from the bomb tower, then pop the warren ability. At least we won't take damage from the second bomb tower. Where do we heal? Drops a few more delayed hogs on the top side. Okay, okay, okay. There's the healing spell on the right. Freeze on the double damage scatter. We got a skeleton spell still to use. He's not dropping it, though. This enemy champion's doing a lot of damage. Poison Lizard needs to take her out, but Poison Lizard's distracted by skeletons where he lost most of the hogs. We're losing the Poison Lizard. Poison Lizard does take out the champion. We invis our royal champion. We drop the skeleton spell on the back end. Got through the last scatter shot. Got through the last inferno tower. We're moving through. 30 seconds. Oh, this might fizzle out. Giant bomb hits the champion. He looks stressed. Wizards are in. That skeleton spell is doing a great job of distracting, but the champion on one HP, not able to get through it. Oh no. Grand Warden takes the storage, has the Diggy. Hold on. Diggy stuns the expo, but the skeleton trap to distract. It's so close, but rip, Mr. Hero. The first defense of the match. This one falls short at 93%. Hero ya! With the next attack, early Warden Blimp, Balloons, Battle Blimp, Grand Warden Eternal Tome, Headhunter in to fight. What is that, the BK? Yes, it is. Invisibility spell, ooh, Tornado Trap, Clone spell, Rage spell, another invis. It's the Monolith. Is there super wizards in there, too? Dude, I swear, he lost almost all of his troops early. Right? There's only, like, one wizard, one archer in there, even though he had the clone spell. He gets the eagle, but the expos stay up. Ooh. I think he definitely meant for those expos to go down. Golem to help the queen. The Grand Warren's still alive, coming over to help out as well. Owl picking up those archers. Drops a couple super barbs. Will they go in for the expo and take it out? Yes, but they're also going to pull the CC troops, but maybe that's a good thing. Ooh, they might not get the expo. Ooh, the invis spell misses. He drops a few more super barbs. What the? And they still don't get the expo. Ugh. This is looking rough. 
Another Ice Golem, more Super Barbs on the left. King's already almost dead. Three more Super Barbs. He had to use like 10 Super Barbs just to try and get this Expo down, dude. That's so sad. But finally, that Expo drops. Queen with the Golemites, with the Ice Golem on the left, moving toward the Town Hall section. Okay. That part's looking decent. Queen will step up toward the Builder Hut. Sure. Oh, don't tell- she's gonna beat on a wall. He has to send the champion for the Town Hall, because Queen's being a goober. Freeze. Queen goes for the Inferno, not the Town Hall. Rip the Archer Queen, she's dead. Diggy will stun the Town Hall. Roy Champion will get the Town Hall, thankfully, but... Rip Heroia. How much percent does he get? This is actually important. This is gonna determine who has the lead. What was the last attack? 93? I think so. Can Heroia beat a 93? He's got freezes. He drops the last one there. RC goes down anyway. Minion Archer on the right side. Ice Golem pops on the left. One more Super Barb to go. He's not getting the 93%. Not even close. Wall Breaker on the top side of the base. Minion up there. He's gonna get like 76. 77. 78. But it's gonna be a lead for TPM after the third round of attacks. You can see he's not happy with that. He is not happy with that at all. Grip this Clasher. 78%. I think he's gonna run out of time before he gets that storage on the right as well. 79 actually. You got one more building somewhere else. Okay. Nice try. But it's 8-8 eight to eight after the third round of attacks. Advantage TPM, but we're basically all tied up. TPM Esports with their next attack. Can they keep the lead by hitting a triple here? Zap Quake for an Expo and Inferno Tower. Nice and early. Cool. King on the bottom side of the base. Zap Lalo. Stars style? Looks like it. Nice. King will go for the Archer Tower. Headhunter to help King fight King. Queen is in on the bottom side of the base. It's good news. Couple sneaky goblins to get another collector there. I like it. Popping the king ability. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. There's the log launcher. Delayed. After the expo locks onto the queen. He dropped his ice golem so late. Queen's gonna go in for the expo anyway. Can she not pop ability there? Is that possible? He's gonna freeze. Keep the queen ability intact. Cannon locks on the queen though. Ice Golem Royal Champion on the right side of the base. Queen does go to ability. Log Launch is trying to make it all the way to the Monolith and it might, honestly. At least the troops inside might. There's a the Skeleton Spell. Champion moving in on the right side toward the Scatter Shot. Super Minion is coming out of the defensive clan castle. We're already starting the Lalo, dude. This homie has zero patience, but it might actually be okay. Warden with the Lalo on the top side. He's freezing. Yeti Mites almost took out the Monolith, but there's so many Builder Huts there. They are repairing the queen. Still alive on the right side. We're popping Warden ability. Oh, maybe way too early. He had another freeze, but he decided not to use it. Why? This Giga Bomb, this Giga Poison is going to hit so many balloons. Last Ice Hound on the left side of the base could come in clutch, though. Royal Champion moving through the core. Queen still getting another building. Ice Hound freezes everything. That's a beautiful Ice Hound freeze. And he's got one more freeze on top of it. He's got Headhunters in for the defensive Archer Queen. He looks happy. He's got it. Dude, this is crushed. All right, what a plan with a star style. Log Launcher, Zap, Lalo. What a gamer. Swags the last free spell an entire minute. Left over. Jeez, and TPM. We're going to be full three for four after that. Wow. Kuma is in with the eight attack, eighth attack of the match and more Lalo here. Skeleton, Bat, Donut. Okay, he wants the CC building. He wants the multi on the right. Perfect invisibility spell placement. Gets the bomb tower as well. Does he get that multi? Come on. Yes, he does. And the CC building. There we go. Perfect start. Pre-triggers the right side. Rage tower finds a couple Teslas. What's next? Still has one more skeleton spell left over. Some balloons on the top side. The Archer Queen is in. Looks like he wants the town hall nice and early. Some sneaky goblins to help funnel. He's got a Valkyrie for support. Two Ice Hounds on this Lalo attack. Golem is in with the Queen. King to make his way toward the Scatter Shot. Skeleton spell there. Giant and Champion further to the right. Valkyrie in with the King. Cool, cool, cool. 
There is a single target Inferno Tower behind this Town Hall. Queen's going to step around the right side. If she could get the Inferno Tower as well, that would be clutch. We did already pop that King ability. We got the Champion ability still to go. Trying to take out this enemy Champion, and we do with that Phoenix to help out. It's beautiful. We'll pop the Queen ability. We'll get the Town Hall. We'll get the Inferno Tower. RC still working on some of those Teslas. She'll be able to get most of those basically for free. Eagle locks onto the champion, though. That's going to force her ability. We're already starting the Lalo here on the bottom side. The first Ice Hound dies almost immediately. I think there were some traps there. Road champion pops her ability. Able to get an extra sweeper. That's nice. And Diggy going to stun that Eagle artillery. Can he keep the RC alive? No, she's going to go down. We do have another Ice Hound that we're going to send across the map in the Warren ability. Look at this Warren ability about to happen. As the Red Bomb goes off, as the Rage Tower goes off, Nice Warren ability. Icehound hits the Tornado Trap. Stone Slammer saved for the back end, and he doesn't drop it until the air defense locks onto the Icehound. That was clutch. Stone Slammer is going to get a lot of value here. Icehound's still alive. Ooh, Headhunter's delayed for the Queen. Can we take her out? She takes the Warden now, but we got one more freeze there. We get through all the heavy hitting defenses, and this is crushed. This is absolutely crushed. Kuma gets it done, and it's going to be 11 to 11 after the fourth round of attacks. Dude, this is such a good match. It's going to be a great finish. This is even better than the last match. Oh my goodness. Some really good attacks from both teams here today. Look at this. Stone Slammer still alive. Grand Warden Phoenix working on the bottom side of the base. Plenty of time left over. Just absolutely crushed it. Both teams at 11 stars. Both teams with another attack still to go. Last attack for TPM. Now here's what we got going on. TPM have the better percent. So if he triples right here, this is over. Anything less than a triple in early attacks can win it. Some rocket balloons on the south side of the base. Sure. We got a lot of Inferno baby dragons. We got some dragon riders. Now, I believe whoever wins this match is guaranteed into the next week's stage. And whoever loses this match is not knocked out, but has one more chance later today to get through. Because this is the weird Swiss stage format. Look at this early battle blip from the left side. Super minions. With the invis. With the rage. No clone spell on this one. He doesn't think it's necessary. And he might be right. One more invis. They get the town hall. They get the expo. Does he want the inferno tower too? He's going to freeze instead of using the last invis. That's an interesting call. Because they get distracted by CC troops. I think he should have used the invis. He could have dropped the invis like toward the left and they could have gotten the Inferno Tower. That was an interesting decision. Inferno Tower stays up. Super minions on defense still alive. Here we go. Inferno baby dragons on the right. Skeleton spell to distract. Archer Queen's in. She's going to help take out that enemy champion. Cool. Lots of balloons moving through the base here. Pop the Warren ability as the red bombs are going toward the balloons. All right, all right, all right. Barbarian King on the left side of the base. We still got a couple skeleton spells. We still got a couple freeze spells. There we go, dropping the skeletons on the left. Distract these expos. Distract the monolith. Distract the Barbarian King. That's all looking good. His king gets locked onto by the monolith. That's awkward. We pop the king ability. Freeze in the core. Inferno Dragon still moving around everywhere. There's the last skeleton spell dropped by the remaining Teslas. Royal Champions in on the 9 o'clock section of the base. Okay, we get through the monolith. He still has a chance, right? He's got no spells. The warden's somehow still alive. Pops the queen ability. She must have gotten targeted by some expos. Diggy's out in front now. Still stunning defenses. Royal champion's healthy with ability. No spells. The scattershot archer queen compartment's going to be the biggest threat here. We pop RC ability. Get most of those defenses. Can we distract the archer queen while RC gets in there? Queen and warden helping to do damage. Defensive queen dies so quickly. Diggy stuns the scattershot. It's looking good for TPM. They get through the scatter. RC still moving through the right side of the base. Gonna take out the mortar. Gonna go for the builder hut. The warden, the owl, helping her shoot them. 30 seconds for the queen to wrap around with the phoenix. With the inferno dragon. Down goes the wizard tower. Diggy stunned the archer tower. No! RC goes down, but he's got it. He's got it, and that's gonna be a victory for TPM Esports. They beat early attacks, and they make it all the way through into stage 5. How about that? Yada is in, and he had some balloons. Now rocket balloon, more balloons. Get the air defense on the left side. He also did two lightning spells for a sweeper. Okay. Here come CC troops. Sure, sure, sure. Just some archers so far. 
It's gonna be a lot of electro dragons. And he's dropping them from the left side of the base. Had some more rocket balloons for an air defense at 6 o'clock, I think. Cool. E drag on the left. Actually taking a lot of damage from those archers. Rip. Here we go with the Grand Warden, the rest of the E drags. Battle Blimp is in. Pops a ward ability. First rage spell is in. The Battle Blimp hits the Tornado Trap right away. Uh oh. Has he got Super Minion Blimp? No clone spell, but he does have four invis. It's gotta be Super Minions, but that Blimp dies so early. Invis. Rage. He might be in trouble here. I mean, it doesn't really matter. TPM already got the victory, but that blimp's getting wrecked. He's not even going to bother using the invis spells on them anymore because he knows they can't get all the way to the town hall. No, he does still drop invis. Okay. They pick up the inferno tower. Another invis. Can they get that monolith? That'd be so nice if they do. Only one minion alive in the middle. The rage spell expired. Get that monolith. Get that monolith. Yes, he does get the monolith, but the king queen skipping the town hall. The warden goes down. Uh, that's awkward. He just has to save the two-star with the champion. Yep, there she goes. Diggy to stun. Town Hall will be secured. He's got a free spell in case he needs it. I think he'll get the Town Hall without it. King popped ability moving through to the top side of the base, but the Eagle Artillery is still alive. So many Teslas around that top left side of the base. Royal Champion gets hammered by the Giga Bomb, by the Giga Poison. Rip the Royal Champion. There's still Ice Golems to come out of the defensive clan castle. Rip. Queen goes to ability. That's rough for Yada. Not going to be a three star for him, but TPM Esports do pick up the victory. They're going to win this one 14 stars to 13. And their percent was 98.6 early attacks. Not sure what their percent is, but GG to TPM Esports for picking up the victory in this one here today.